In this tutorial I will explain how to set up a robot arm using MoveIt. The objective of this simulation is to bring an eye-shaped block on the red circle. RGB camera is placed to observe eye-shaped block. This is the image obtained from the camera. There is an Aruko marker on the top of the eye-shaped block so that relative position and orientation of the marker to the camera can be calculated. Firstly, the arm is moved to its initial position. Secondly, based on the calculated marker position, the arm moves just above the eye-shaped block. Then the gripper holds the block. The arm picks up the block and places it on the red cylinder. Finally, the gripper opens, and the arm moves to its initial position. Now, let's begin. Firstly, install MoveIt. To set up the arm, we will use a MoveIt Setup Assistant. This is a very convenient GUI application which generates setup files for MoveIt automatically. As an ARM model, we will use Canova Generation 2 ARM. But it seems that setup files for MoveIt in this repository are outdated, so we will only use Canova Description Package and other packages we will create ourselves. Also note, that URDF files are modified to make it work with Gazebo, so please use the description package provided with this tutorial. Create a workspace and place Canova Description Package in the source folder. Open a new terminal in Canova directory. Build your workspace. Now, in the source folder in your workspace, create a folder in which setup files for MoveIt will be stored. We name it Canova MoveIt. Open new terminal. Source Canova workspace. Launch MoveIt Setup Assistant. When MoveIt Setup Assistant window opens, click on Create New MoveIt Configuration Package. Click the Browse button. Choose the URDF file of your robot. This time it is a J2S6S300 standalone Zacro file. Click Load Files. A robot arm should appear. Click on Self Collisions tab. As has been written in the description, here pairs of robot links that can safely be disabled from collision checking are selected. Click on Generate Collision Matrix. All links that are in this list will not be checked for collision. The next step is to define virtual joints. Virtual joints connect the robot and the parent frame. Set virtual joint name as virtual joint and select child link as J2S6S300 link base. Since in this simulation the robot will not be connected to any other objects, we set the world as a parent frame and leave joint type as fixed. 
In the Planning Groups tab, we set the groups of joints on which planning and inverse kinematics calculations will be done. Click Add Group button. Firstly, we set the arm group. Set group name as arm. From Kinematics Solver pull down menu, select KDL Kinematics plugin. Click on Add Kinematic Chain button. Before moving forward, a little overview from where the term chain came from. In kinematic trees, closed loop mechanisms are called graphs. Open loop mechanism is called tree, and unbranched tree is called chain. So, gripper can be represented as a tree and robot arm can be represented as a chain. Now let's talk about KDL Kinematics plugin. The term KDL stands for Kinematics and Dynamics Library Planner. For calculating arm position, Chain IK Solver POS Inverse Kinematics Solver is used. Let's take an arm with three joints as an example. If we know rotation angles of the joints, arm end effector coordinates can be calculated. So, the current arm coordinates are subtracted from the target arm coordinates to obtain an error. Next, Jacobian matrix is calculated. Jacobian matrix of a function with several variables is a matrix of all its first order partial derivatives. Finally, angular velocity of each joint is calculated using damped least squares method. This solver uses a Levenberg Marquardt method that automatically adapts the damping when computing the inverse damped least squares. Now we are going back to Move It Setup Assist. Click on the small triangle on the left side of the displayed link and expand the chain. As a base link, select root. As a tip link, Select J2S6S300 end effector. Finally, save the chain. After creating an arm group, we are going to create a gripper group. Again, click the Add Group button. Name this group Gripper. Click Add Joints button. Select end effector and all finger joints. Save Gripper Joint Collection. Add links the same way. In Define Robot Poses tab we create poses for the robot. These poses will be stored in the SDF file, and we will be able to execute them using set named target command. Click on the Add Pose button. In the Pose Name text box write vertical. This will be initial position of the robot. Click Save button. As you can see, a pose called vertical was added to the pose list. With the same way, create pose which we name ready. You can move each joint using the slider, or enter specific joint angle value into text box. After saving the ready position, from the planning group's pull-down menu, select the gripper. Create open and close poses. Now we are going to create end effector. Click, add end effector button. Name end effector as gripper. From the end effector group pull down menu, select gripper. As a parent link select J2S6S300 end effector. Click save. After creating end effector, we move to the controllers tab. Here. Controllers to simulate our arm and gazebo are created. 
Joints Trajectory Controller is used for executing joint space trajectories on a group of joints. Trajectories are specified as a set of waypoints to be reached. Waypoints consist of positions, and optionally velocities and accelerations. Just click, Auto and Follow Joints Trajectory Controllers for each planning group. Next, we move to the Author Information tab. Fill name of maintainer and email text boxes. Finally, move to the Configuration Files tab. Click the Browse button and select the folder we have previously created. Click on the Generate Package button. As you can see, launch files and configuration files are successfully generated. Before doing a gazebo simulation we need to do several modifications. Open the ROS controller's YUM file. With default PID gains, the arm will not move well, so we have to adjust PID gains of each joint. Usually this takes a while. For PID gains of each joint please refer to the file in the description. Open the Joint Limits YAML file. These values are defining the scale of joint moving velocity and acceleration in gazebo against values calculated with MoveIt. By default, Velocity and acceleration are downscaled to one tenth. This is too slow, so change these values to 0 0.3. Also, place the world's folder in the Canova Move It directory. This folder contains the world file which we will use in Gazebo simulation. Go to the launch directory. Open Gazebo Launch File. Change line 13 so that Gazebo launches the world file from the Canova Move It directory. In this section, I want to talk about coordinate transformation. This is the coordinate system of an arm. But Aruko marker coordinates are calculated in the camera coordinate system. We should do proper coordinate transformation so that the arm will be able to grab the eye shaped block. The first step is to rotate camera coordinates so that the camera coordinate axis becomes parallel to that of arm coordinates. In the second step, camera coordinates are moved to the arm coordinate origin. In the third step, we rotate camera coordinates around the X axis. And finally rotate the coordinate around the Z axis for 180 degrees. With this procedure, we can calculate a RUCO marker position in the arm coordinate system. Now let's see how to run the simulation. Install Python 3 pip. RUCO marker library is not included in OpenCV Python package. We should install OpenCV contrib Python package. Download the zip file from Google Drive. Extract project files. Create a Canova directory. Copy source and UI folders. Paste them into the Canova directory we have created. Open a new terminal and execute catkin make command.
Now go back to the folder we previously extracted and copy the Aruko block long file. Paste this file into the models folder in the gazebo directory. Now we are ready. Open a new terminal and execute source command. Launch the demo gazebo launch file. Open a new terminal and execute source command. Rose run Aruko pose estimation python script. Open a new terminal and execute source command. Move to the UI directory. Execute the controller python script. Now you can do the simulation.